I'm editing at, like, three in the fucking morning. So, uh, you'll better fucking like this one. I don't even know if I'll be able to do other videos today because I'm so fucking tired. Anyways, yeah, enjoy. Honorary shotgun blast. Mm-hmm, I just fucking did that. Alrighty. Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander, but I prefer to go by you since your dummies or Alejandro. Please call me fucking Alejandro. I have to say it now, everybody. They just call me Alex or Goosebumps or Dummies. Or Dummies, which I'm, I'm cool with those, but like... Ah, Alex! I mean, I'm fucking all... Anyways. So I lost my temper a little bit. Today we're reviewing Creature Teacher in honor of fucking... Oh, fuck this, back to school. We're doing another review hopefully soon. I don't know if it's going out the same day as this. And even though I'm recording this the night before, because I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah. If you know, you know. Back to school, motherfuckers. Back to school season. I go back to school this Wednesday. I could give two less of a shit. I mean, I give a shit because I don't... I don't know. Grades don't count until ninth grade. I'm literally not kidding. <laughs> if I do terrible this year, it doesn't matter. It's hilarious. Anyways, yeah. Unless I, like, do something absolutely horrendous. Like, I bop someone or something. If you know, you know. Anyways, yeah, we're reviewing Creature Teacher. Should do Scream School soon, and yeah, there's, there's gonna be a lot of few uploads for the past few uh, few days, next few days. Um, fuck, I think there will be one on the way I go back, because you know, just to, you know, just to say, yeah, we're back to school, guys. Anyways, yeah. So sorry that there was no upload yesterday. I was, uh, I'm just gonna be flat out honest. I was literally playing GTA all day, and then I took off like. 10 minutes and i tried to read a goosebump book i'm like okay i think i'll read horrors of the black ring review coming eventually i mean i'll probably come in like december if anything but yeah sorry about that just been playing gta and bfn all day bfn plans for yeah anyways yeah let's just get to this fucking review so for the blurb oh wait this is a series 2000 book oh fuck well, these things have no fucking blurbs, really, so I kind of have to go, like, from memory. So, basically, this kid, where the fuck his name is, I, I don't even know. The main protagonist is sent to this boarding school for his behavior. Um, he's kind of a class clown type kid. Tries, you know, bullshit. His parents are very wealthy, so it's a very good boarding school, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> um... Yeah, and this boarding school looks like Dracula's castle and shit. It's, it's on top of a mountain. It looks and it it looks like some medieval shit. And that's because it was made way back in the day. But yeah, um, he goes in. No, um, he gets the gist of the students, and all of them tell him to beware of one of the teachers, Miss Marr. He doesn't believe it at first, but Telly until, until he sees that Miss Marr. I'm going there, Miss Marr, because I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how to pronounce her name, Miss Marr, Miss Marr. That's the, that's the creature teacher in this book. She has these nasty-ass feet. She looks like she's disgustingly weird. She looks deformed and shit. And, uh... Yeah. She's just very monster-like. Could the rumors be true? If you were to be reader beware, check, you're in for a scare check with this next book, Invasions of the Body Species Part 1. That's, that would be a basic blurb. This book... It's alright. <laughs> I can't say anything really negative. Just try the battle. Like, there's nothing really that bad about this book. It's just a solid read. Um, I'd say it's like a Metal of the Rose 3000 book. Um, I do like Miss Marg, though. We're not even in the upside section. Let's just get to it now. So, for the upsides, let me just move in the center here. Miss Marg. Miss Marg, I do really like her as a villain. Um, for most of the scenes, she can be, you know, creepy. She, her first appearance just immediately tells you that she is fucking weird. She, when she shows up in the book, she starts licking the main character's arm. <laughs> it's so sexual. It's so nasty. Anyways, it's just disgusting. It's, it's like, what the fuck? Does this, is this teacher just very sexual? Or does she really want to eat this kid? She, I mean, obviously wants to eat him. Not in that way, but like, yeah. Anyways, fucking, I loved, I loved her opening scene, it was hilarious, and also creepy at the same time, like, she's just licking his arm, like, <laughs> what the fuck? 
it's disgusting. But it's also creepy because, she, you know, she makes some creepy remarks. Anyways, not sexual creepy. <laughs> this creature is seriously a pedophile. Anyways, uh, besides that, I really like Miss Mars. She's a pretty decent villain. I can see why she appeared in the Horror Town game. I mean, a lot of characters. Even fucking Sparkles the Dragon, which that's the canon name for the dragon from Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid. Canon name. Parent. For some fucking reason, yeah. That's the canon name. Sparkles. It's fucking black. Anyways. Yeah, I really like Miss Mar. Can't say much more about her. It's just really fucking creepy. Um. This character has some decent. This book had some decent characters. Um. And I really liked. I really liked this. Uh. Miss Mar has a son. And I had no idea going into this book. Because well, I. Ashamed to say it. It's a first time reading. Very ashamed to say it. But yeah. I, the character for decent, uh, but yeah, Miss Mar is so, Miss Mar's son was really decent. I really liked him, uh, which will lead me to a later point in this uh, part of the review. But yeah, I just really like the characters overall. They're all decent. I like how all of them know are are completely aware of Miss Mar being a fucking monster and actually wanting to eat him. And yeah, another thing I liked about this book is the horror. Oh my god. Um. Now, this book has very, very, very similar uh, stuff to it as a Fright Night. Not going to say what exactly, but this book is super similar to Fright, Fright Night in a lot of ways. Um, one of the ways is the kids know they're going to fucking die. <laughs> um, um, that's it. I'm so, No spoilers for Fright Night. But yeah, it, I like how the kids all know they're going to fucking die. And they're going to be eaten by this bitch. I, I just love it. It's so creepy knowing, okay, yeah, we're all gonna fucking die if we don't do this shit, you know? I mean, they're not all gonna die, one of them is, but, like, it's it's awesome. It's such a creepy um, idea. Um, I mean, it's nothing crazy, like, oh, yeah, the teacher's gonna eat you if you get last place. But, like, like that actually happening and her being a fucking monster, not a cannibal, I don't know which would be worse, though. It's just really cool. Really like that. Yeah. Another thing I really liked about this book was the ending stuff. Um, I mean, not the twist. The twist was just, mm, it was alright. Nothing crazy. The kid probably died, though. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I liked the ending sequence where Miss, where the talent show was canceled because Miss Marsh is like, fucking hell, I don't want to sit for this. I want my meal already. Like, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Um, so yeah. It, there's a lot of shit that goes down. First off, he gets pulled down the elevator, uh, trap door in the auditorium. Miss Mar is just chased, it, you know, she's pulling him by the face, like, mm, or some shit, I think that, no, the ear, I think. Either way, f tries to throw him in the fucking furnace, fails. Um, it's pretty nasty. She's gonna cook him alive. Like, what the fuck? I mean, if you guys don't know, but... It's, I don't know, I don't know why it's been confirmed. I don't know how they did that, but yeah. It's confirmed that burning to death is the most painful way to die. And that completely makes sense. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, he's, he's gonna just get thrown in the fucking furnace, which is really dark. And then, of course, he, he doesn't die. He, he manages to not get in front of the furnace. Like, oh, oh, I hit the side. Okay, I'm out. I'm fine. I'm fine. I didn't get in there in the first place. No burns, no nothing. I'm good. Yeah, um, Miss Mar's son turns on her. Kinda. He was never with her in the first place. He's just like, okay, my mom's a monster, so am I. Big deal, big whoop. He saves the main protagonist, and that's what he's actually been trying to do throughout the book. Kinda. Kinda. He's been offering him chocolate, thinking that, okay, he's trying to fatten me up. Fatten me up, man. He's trying to fatten me up. And the reason is that earlier in the book is, uh, he was talking to him. And he actually really liked it, even though he didn't talk much. He's like, Man, he was very happy about it. Um, because he doesn't have a friend. I know what a weird thing, but yeah, he's only doing this because he doesn't have a friend. He's like, oh man, I finally made a fucking friend. Let me just try and give him chocolate to be nice. And yeah, that's he almost got him killed. You know, sorry, he almost made Marg a better meal, his own mom. But either way, yeah, I really like that where he was actually just trying to feed him. It was hilarious. It was a nice, funny thing, but it's also, um. Creepy when, you know, Miss Marsh just went back in. You know, horror aspect, funny aspect. Yeah, as you can tell, I really like this one. But there were some problems. Uh, yeah. So the downsides.
What the fuck? This kid took so long to realize that Miss Mars a monster, it doesn't even make sense. Now, I get that you think it was an April Fool's joke or like some bullshit playing a prank since the, the, the guy you brought him in saying, oh yeah, the kids and staff like play jokes on the new kids. How did he not realize this is a fucking joke and tell Miss Margate a rat? Why did it take her that? Why, why did it take them that long? Why the fuck did it take him that long? She licked your arm, which is already enough to get you out of that school. Like, okay, the teacher's perverted, so I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't know why he didn't immediately just run out the room. He's right next to the door. But uh, yeah, it's just... It's just... Why? It doesn't make sense how it took him so long to go, yeah, this girl's a monster. He fought, he had doubts, but he fought completely the whole time, most of overall. He's like, oh yeah, this bitch is just playing a main prank, and all the kids are along with it. Like, what the fuck? It doesn't feel normal to, I mean, what the fuck? It was so obvious that there was something wrong with this bitch. At least it wasn't a joke. Like, he, she's just fucking creepy, at least. Which I would have probably assumed. I, well, I mean, I don't think I'm going to have a conclusion that she's a monster, but like, come on. What the fuck? Why is it so long for you to get there? Anyways, yeah. I really didn't like how that, that, it didn't feel right. Another thing is, this book had a really dumb opening. Now, this isn't like, this is only a nitpick. It had a prologue. And that could have easily just been chapter one and made this book like a 35 chapter book. Like, what? The prologue could have easily been the opening chapter. What? I don't get it. But that's just a nitpick. It doesn't really affect the score overall. Something I didn't like about this book was, uh, the payoff. To have the book, I mean, sorry, 80% of the book was, uh, preparing for the talent show and talent show related scenes. That went nowhere. That went absolutely nowhere, and it's just so sad. Like, we spent half the book just fucking preparing for the talent show. And, you know, we don't get that fucking scene. What the fuck? That just- Oh no, the challenge just canceled. Now I liked that Miss Mars just canceling it. Like, don't spend 80% of the fucking book preparing for a scene that's not gonna fucking happen! So, uh, enough of that ranting. Um, yeah, let's just get to the rating of this book. So for the rating, I'm gonna give this book a 7.5 out of 10. It's solid overall, but there were some problems with it. Yeah, it's just solid. It's really solid. Uh, it's just uh, so much wasted potential with the talent show shit. Like, why? Sorry, not waste potential. Wasted time. Because that went nowhere. But I did like Smart. She is pretty funny and creepy. Um, I like all the characters overall. The school, boarding school stuff is really cool. I didn't even mention that in my upsides part, but like, it's, it could have been anything else. Come in regular school and been the same. But yeah, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and uh, nothing else to say. See you guys in the next one. Bye.